Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back in the kitchen today and I'm trying a new recipe. Um, last week my daughter mentioned to me that she watched this TikTok video of this girl who made like this yogurt dessert kind of frozen type thing. It's basically like a yogurt bark where you throw a bunch of ingredients on a sheet pan and then freeze it and then you have a tasty treat afterwards. And I said, oh my gosh, I saw the same TikTok and I saved it so we could actually make, make the recipe. And she wanted to make it last week, but I had run out of yogurt and hadn't been to the grocery store yet. So um, I told her, I'll just make it over the weekend and when you come home from your dad's, then we can have it. Um, so I'm gonna try it. I'm not using a recipe. I've just watched the video on TikTok and I'm just gonna go from there. Um, I really think the possibilities are limitless with this recipe. You can add so many things to it. So what you do is you start with a um, baking sheet that you've lined with wax paper. And then you just add a layer of yogurt, about a cup and a half to two cups. I'm not gonna measure, I tend not to measure things when I'm cooking. When I'm baking I am, but not when I'm cooking. Um, this is, I believe is from Target. Normally I get my yogurt from Aldi and I get the vanilla beans Greek yogurt kind. This is vanilla. It's a blended Greek non-fat yogurt. I don't know if like one kind of yogurt works better over another. Um, this is just what I have. This one happens to be open so I'm going to use this one. I do have a different kind in the fridge from Aldi but I'm just going to start with this and see how it works. So I'm just going to put some out. I'm going to move this down a little bit so you can see. I'm just going to put some out on my paper and kind of even it all out. I don't really know how thick it's supposed to be. Never, Like I said, I've never made this before. About a cup and a half to two cups. I don't know how much that is, so I'm just going to layer some more on there. And then I'll try to make it even. Um, so I've seen mixed reviews about this and... Um, so I thought, well, the best way to know for sure is just to try it myself. So I've seen people say it's awful. The minute you take it out of the freezer, it melts in your hands, which, yeah, this isn't going to be a treat that you can just, you know, take out of the freezer and just leave it out. You're obviously going to want to take this out of the freezer and then enjoy it right away. Almost even, I think just a little bit more yogurt in a spot there. So that looks good. Pretty even and it's thick enough I think to hold up to the toppings that we're going to put on it. So uh, like I said I think your options could be pretty, pretty limitless with this. Um, I'm going to put some strawberries on here, some fresh strawberries that I rinsed and then I just sliced into small little pieces. Um, just going to kind of cover it with those. And then I also had some frozen blueberries. I don't have fresh blueberries at the moment, but I do have frozen ones that I just grabbed out of the freezer. So I'm gonna throw some of those on there too. I think the girl on the video that my daughter and I watched might have put like chocolate sauce on hers. I'm not gonna do that with mine, um, but you could. And if it turns out that we actually like this, I'm sure we can try all sorts of things this summer. But this just looks like a really yummy, healthiest treat. Okay, so here's all the strawberries. Got that on. I'm just going to throw on a couple of blueberries. Um, I am going to put walnuts on, I think, just half. I don't know if my daughter would appreciate the wal walnuts or not. So I'm not going to put it on the whole thing. I'll just put it on half. Uh, this looks really yummy. This actually reminds me of like what would be a yummy treat for like the 4th of July, which I happen to be hosting this year. And it's also my mom's birthday on the 4th of July. So this is red, white, white and blue and really cute. Would make a cute dessert. A few more blueberries. And I'm going to rinse my hands really quick because it's really dirty. Now I have purple fingers. Okay, so walnuts I'm gonna throw on half. This looks so good. And then the last thing I'm gonna throw on there is some honey. 
So this is another, uh, this is my latest jar that I got from the thrift store. It is so cute. I love these little jars and I actually picked one up for my neighbor too because she said she had been looking for some. These are the cutest things. So I'm just going to drizzle this with honey. I did look up recipes for this and then decided I'm just not going to use one. I'll just do my own thing, whatever I want to do. It's going to take me a minute to get the honey out of here. Um, some of them called for like adding all the ingredients together and mixing them up and I I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have the honey like a prominent top layer. So I didn't I didn't want to add them all together. Um, so I'm just going to wait to get this honey out of here. All right, took me a minute to get all of the honey off. I didn't think you really needed to see that. Um, so I got the honey out of the jar and onto the dessert. This is what it looks like now. You guys, it looks so delicious. I can't wait to try it. So. Uh, the only other thing you have to do now is stick this in the freezer and wait for it to freeze. Um, I've read anywhere from two to three hours. Uh, we have a lot of places we need to be this afternoon and we are on a time crunch. So I this will be in the freezer for way longer than two to three hours before I actually get home to try it again. Um, but I'm really looking forward to that when I do get home. So I'm just going to pop this in the freezer that we have out in the garage and when I get home tonight I'm really looking forward to trying this. Okay, I'm literally just getting home. It's almost nine o'clock. Um, it's all frozen. It looks delish. Moment of truth. I'm going to cut a little piece that has the walnut on it because I love walnuts. I don't know, maybe it's really, really frozen. <laughs> okay, it came off the paper easily, so that's good. So here's the little piece I'm going to eat. It's actually really good. Yeah, perfect summer treat that is healthy. Good for you. Oh, I love the walnuts on it. That is really good. I'm I'm surprised and, and impressed because the reviews I saw, people were like, this is the worst thing I've ever had. So listen, TikTok isn't just for teenage girls doing dances. You can actually learn something. I've actually learned a ton of things on TikTok, including this recipe now, which is super good. I can't wait for my daughter to get home tomorrow and try it. It is really yummy. I imagine it will go very quickly. And there's so many possibilities you can change the yogurt flavor. You could change the, you could put maple syrup on it. You could do chocolate syrup. You could do peanut butter. You could do chocolates. You could make it sweet, savory. So many possibilities. So good. So thanks for hanging with me while I tried this. Super good. Try it for yourself. I'll see you guys next time.